Hello, I'm Brianna, an active duty Air Force medic. Today, I will be demonstrating how to properly bandage a casualty who has suffered an amputation of a limb, as well as how to care for the amputated body part. Mm -hmm. Consider body substance isolation. If a combat lifesaver is available, direct them to assist. Expose the injury and assess the bleeding source. Apply gauze or other dressing materials and wrap the casualty's stump, ensuring all areas are covered. Apply elastic wrap or cravats over the gauze, extending four inches above the wound. You may need to use more than one package of gauze and elastic wraps. Place and loosely wrap the amputated body part if found in saline moistened sterile gauze. Now, seal the amputated body part inside a plastic bag or wrap it in a cravat. Place in container with ice if available. Avoid further injury to the amputated body part by never warming an amputated body part, never placing an amputated body part directly in water, never placing an amputated body part directly on ice, and never use dry ice to cool an amputated body part. Transport the body part with the casualty to the hospital for possible reimplantation or skin graft. Do not delay transport of a patient in order to locate and care for an amputated body part. Document all findings and treatments provided on a DD Form 1380 TC3 casualty card and attach it to the casualty.